So here we have the Blazer R8 Professional Tracker. This one's Chambered in 308. Uh, we've had it on test for the last couple of months. I'm going to hang shooting with it. Um, most of you are pretty familiar with this, I guess, but maybe for those who aren't, I'll just give a quick, quick, quick demo on how it all goes together. The idea behind it is you can uh, pull these guns completely apart, every component, put it back together, and um, uh, keep the same point of impact. Anyway, so anyway, so first things first, let's chuck the barrel on. Two studs there, straight into the stop like that, flip it over, and careful not to drop it. Tighten up the little grub screws, whatever they are in there, put a nip up. Barrel mounted. Next step is the magazine, which um, is mentioned about in the, um, in the article. Uh, is a one piece assembly. In fact, I'll go in a little bit detail on that. Basically, the magazine sits strictly above the trigger. Um, it's polymer, synthetic, alloy, aluminium, not too sure which one or which, anyway. Um, it has, you can uh, take, it's a, basically a rotary magazine, by pushing the side in you can also pull out the, the mag, rotary part of it um, and change this insert for different calibers. This one's uh, for 243, 308 and 6mm bench rest normal which is a standard case, 308 case. It's anything around but I guess you got Madden cartridges or down to a triple two, two three or whatever they um, blaze a chamber them in, most, most standard calibers. Uh, and that just clips straight in like that. It's quite cool. Yeah. That, then uh, it's got two little side latches here, and they just bolt. They just, they just clips straight in like that. Pops in and out, easy peasy. Um, one th thing I sort of thought of was if that was to drop out, you'd lose both your trigger and your magazine. Which if you're in the middle of a hunting trip, you'd be stuffed. But uh, Blazer sort of thought of that. And uh, inside here, there's a little latch, you can hear it click on and off, and it pretty much locks it, which is pretty good little safety feature. Unclip it. Now it comes. No sweat. Right, let's add, add our bolt. Typical blazer, one piece um, bolt receive. It's all one, it's all one sort of unit. You can change the bolt heads in these, I don't actually know how to do that, I haven't done it before. But um, I think it's, um, there's a little latch in here, I think it's this one here. Don't set up and you pull that whole bolt head out, so when you're changing calibre, you can, um, if you're like, like you're changing your magazine, you just take that apart, so you're buying all, you know, another whole bolt receiver. Put that in, slide it in like that, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Hold that down, and then it goes. The beauty about the, the blazers is the straight pull. Really quick. Um, it doesn't have an actual safety. It's what they call, after doing a little bit of research on the internet, on the web, it's got a decocker. So it doesn't, it's not actually safety, but um, it still acts as a safety. So if you want to push it up. Decocker. Let's just check it's unloaded at first, of course. And it, this trigger breaks really cleanly. Shit, maybe one and a half, two pounds. Really, no creep, really nice. Really nice on the range. Cool. So we'll just sit that there. Last but not least, is uh, is the scope and scope mount. And this is the um, what's called the, well, basically it's the factory or the, their um, standard uh, blazer saddle mount. Um, this is all sort of standard blazer sort of setup. Two little knobs there, they just fit in nicely. Hold it down, bring the latch around, clip it in, bring the latch around, clip it in and yeah, uh, you're good to go. 
So you know a little bit of familiarising with it. Um, you can break it down, put it back together in a matter of minutes. Re with this concept, it's really easy to clean this rifle. Um, I used to have an R93, and that's the one thing I noticed about it was just the maintenance and, and uh, cleaning. It was really, really easy to do. It's good. Um, probably one little other little feature I'll show you if I can find the sling. The way the sling's set up on the stock, it's got three attachment points, one on either side of the stock and one on the bottom of the, of the bottom of the stock. It's got another one on the tip of the forestock and then another one right on the muzzle. Um, and by the way that sort of oh, the way they clip in they've just got a little clips and like that and it locks into place. You can actually rotate it around and it locks into place. So that's quite cool. And then the other end of it. It uh, clips into either here or in here under the muzzle. Um, it's a nice sling. It grips, it's got sort of an elastic foam rubber. Um, which grips well on the shoulder, but I did find it tended sort of did tend to sort of bounce when you're walking along. If you just can't walk on the track or something like that, um, you don't really notice it in the scrub, but it just tend to sort of bounce a little bit on your shoulder. It wasn't a major, but um, that was noticeable. It's got two little spots here for a couple of rounds if you want. But, yeah, but it's a nice sling and it does do, and it does work well. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Jeez. Blazer R8. Blazer, blazer, whatever it is. Some 308. Nice little bush gun. Got four deer this morning, fellow. Seen two and spooked two, but um, no chance of a shot. Being a bit noisy, I think. But, um, that's no, alright. Nice little creek. Just picked up, picked up this one, uh, yeah, 10 minutes after seeing this two out in the other paddock there. Just on the little grassy verge. Got it with the blazer R8 and 308 home load. Pretty straightforward chest shot. Little animal. <laughs> 